my viewers was asking about that aircraft which was in the background of one of the previous vlogs here at Sun and Fun. Yeah, that is, you correctly identified, that is the Piper jet. I'm pretty sure it was the only jet that Piper ever made. It was made in 2008 and then I think it was decommissioned a few years later and that was just a prototype, I'm not sure exactly why. If you know the history of the Piper jet, maybe leave a comment below, I'd love to know. It is super windy this morning, you can see everything flying around behind me in the background there. There's a cold front that's passing through over Florida today. It's supposed to be, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes! It's supposed to be hitting Florida around 2 o'clock this afternoon and it's pushing a lot of thunderstorms in front of it as well. But a couple of thunderstorms aren't going to stop us coming to an air show. Welcome to Thunderstorm and Fun. Welcome to Sun and Fun, day four. I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're going to cancel the air show today. As well, if you want to come out here, there's still a lot of aircraft. Because the flying is supposed to be happening at one o'clock. If there are thunderstorms coming through at two o'clock, there are not a lot of people here today either. Can you see around me? Sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy. See, there's not a lot of people here compared to the same time I started filming yesterday, where this place, this place was full. Now I'm also going to try. Uh, can you hear there? That's Steph just talking on live air show TV. So I'm going to go and see if I can see her. Let's just go and see what they're discussing because we might actually find out from them if we're actually going to get an air show today. Everything's blowing over. Oh, the sign. It's only 3 p.m. this afternoon. As a result of this prediction, the air show has been cancelled. But public safety is a priority. We have made the decision to close the event site gates at 1 p.m. today. Well, that's the saddest of sad news. Just got confirmation on the radio there. Actually, there was a radio in this buggy and I just recorded that. But got confirmation from the Sun and Fun officials that the air show's cancelled today. So from 1 p.m. they're actually going to try and keep the area clear because people are going to try and depart using the runway, the main runway that's used for the air show, this one behind me. People are going to be trying to depart from here from one o'clock to get out of Lakeland to hopefully get to their destination before the thunderstorms come through. But in terms of the air show, we've got until about 1 p.m. here and then all well, hell's gonna break loose. No, okay, that's pretty dramatic. That's, hell's not gonna break loose. We might see some thunderstorms, but the hell thing is. Also hoping just quickly now, it's actually perfect conditions to get inside a hangar. See if we can get inside the performers hangar where all the performers aircrafts are stored. Not sure how many will still be in there. Some of them have probably gone last night, but if there are any in there, let's see if we can take a look around. to get up close to these sorts of aircraft. Seeing these ones flying two days ago, these are the Aeroshell Aerobatic Team aircraft. They're the ones that pump out the smoke behind them. They also do the night show. So these guys were flying last night here at Sudden Fun in the night time with lights strapped to the aircraft. It's fireworks coming off them. Like this doesn't need any kind of introduction, but if you've ever been to any air show here in the US or around the world as well, you would have seen this guy. This is the awesome aircraft piloted by Gene Soucy. I've seen this plane at Oshkosh, seen this plane flying here at Sun and Fun as well. I've never been so close, I can touch it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not allowed to touch it, but I could, but I won't. Oh, I'm like a kid in a candy store here. Sure, if you can see, I can't quite get over there, but just over there in the distance, this blue aerobatic aircraft behind me here, it's Paddy Wagstaff's aircraft. Now, anyone who's been to an air show will know the name 
Paddy Wagstaff. She's been doing displays at air shows for decades. And I've seen her fly before and again. We saw her here at Sun and Fun, but that's her aircraft, just there. Well, sadly, my time here at Sun and Fun has come to an end. I have to now head back to Tampa, overnight in Tampa. Then I'll tell you about the travel in the next vlog anyway, but what a fitting way to end my time down here, surrounded by the planes who've been flying around overhead us for the last four days. I've had a fantastic time here. Anyone from Sun and Fun who's watching, any of the organizers, any of the pilots, the engineers, people who are working here, all the volunteers, I just want to say, look, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for letting me film in your brilliant air show. Um, and if you want me to come back next year, just ask. I'm free. Oh yeah, storm's coming. I appreciate a good storm just as much as the next pilot. But on Monday here in Florida, they had two tornadoes that came through. I don't want to be in a tornado. Before I leave Sun and Fun and the airport here in Lakeland, I'm not sure whether you guys know, but the US Air Force Thunderbirds were supposed to be performing here this weekend at Sun and Fun. But unfortunately they had to cancel at the last minute due to a tragic accident which actually took the life of one of their pilots, Stephen Del Bagno. I've had the great privilege of hanging with the guys from the F-16 Viper demo team who came in here at the last minute to perform at Sun and Fun after the US Air Force Thunderbirds had to pull out. And if any of Stephen's friends and family are watching or anyone who's flown with him over the years, anyone who knew him, I just wanted to pass on my sincere condolences. Five minutes and already it's like a bomb's just exploded in my suitcase everything's anyway I'm not gonna give you a tour of the hotel room because it's a pretty standard room I do have a good view over the runway though which is always a good thing but I wanted to pull up the weather radar for Tampa yeah we should be able to see that soon up on the board already. Well, we've got a few delays, I should say, and a couple of cancellations already. Is it over? Has it gone? <laughs> Guys, we survived a tornado. Yeah, actually, in, in the end, you know what, it wasn't too bad. The, the storm came through, which was just like a normal storm. Um, didn't see any tornadoes here, but it did shut the airport down for a little while, so there were some flight delays. Luckily, though, we're not flying today. We're flying tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Obviously, we're flying at 11.55 tomorrow morning, so we have a bit of time here in Tampa before heading out, and then we're going via Charlotte to LAX to Auckland, and back to Melbourne. Thanks as always for watching. Join me tomorrow for our trip all the way back to Melbourne. Hopefully we won't spend another nine hours in LAX. We've got five hours this time on the way back from our American Airlines flight getting in to our Air New Zealand flight leaving LAX. So five hours. Surely nothing can go wrong. Oh, why do I, why do I say these things? Ooh.